Hey all, uh, welcome back. Thanks for joining us today on this tutorial. Uh, so in this tutorial, we're going to speak about how to take your keycad design from a two layer to a four layer to a six layer to eight layer. So to be honest with you, I actually never thought keycad could do this, but uh, I figured out it could. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So just a few things to point out before you go to a multi-layer board, I would say, to like a four layer, a six layer. Um, just realize that it will be more expensive. Um, the reduction time is slower. So if you're one of those guys who like to get your PCB boards quick uh, and at a special price bargain, um, then I would not do this multi-layer boards. It is definitely more expensive and will take longer to get to you. Um, but some boards do require or be better to have a multi-layer board. So in this example, I'm going to use this little PCB we made together uh, for the drone PCB to make our own drone motor controller, flight controller, whatever you like to call it. Um, this board is nice and small, it's about 35 to 35 millimeters. So the spaces for the components, not too tight, but it was tight enough. But what you can see, it's a design fault in the system, is that my copper pores have, it's called copper cuts or uh, plain cuts or uh, whatever you want to call these empty spaces here. So if I go to my top layer, uh, click, click, click there. So you can see the red here. Uh, you actually don't want so many pore cuts or open areas when you do a copper pore. You want your ground and your VCC actually quite solid, should I say. Same with my ground here. You can see I've got ground cuts. It's not good for signal integrity, things like that, when you do high speed designs. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add an extra two layers so that we can have our, our VCC, our power, you could say, our voltage, and our ground as a solid track. Uh, this will make the just design um, better in integrity kind of way. So this board still works, but it's not uh, optimal best design. Uh, guys, just so you guys know, if you want this PCB for a drone, we do give away all our Gerbers uh, to the community. Just join our Discord channel below. Uh, the Gerbers will be there. I'm actually busy programming this at the moment, so when the program's done as well, I'll give the code for free. And then you can build your own drone. Cool, so let's get started. So to get to your layer set, stack up, setup, file, board setup. So here you can see all the things. So uh, layers, two layer parts on front and back. So this is our default one. So KiCad has actually made it very easy, so you can Play with default ones on top so you can see four layer parts on front and back that is the one i would like to use so i click on that and there you can see they added it so what i will do is i'll make this my ground i'll make this my power and then you can make it power here power plane i don't actually know if it makes any difference i don't think it does but let's just make it power plane for fun and then you can see there's some stuff you can take off and on and things like that. Uh, now I push OK. So one thing to note is you can make the stack up uh, different ways you can. So there's no reason why you can make, make ground on top and power at the bottom and have your single layers inside. Uh, there are different rules for different applications. So you can make this ground, this ground, signal inside. I just prefer to have my signals on the outside of the board uh, because we're more, yeah, let's hobbyist, we makers, we we make things for fun, right? So if your signals are on the outside, it is much easier to debug. If there's a mistake, you can fix it. You can cut some tracks. You can do what we do, like cowboy style. But if it's on the inside, it becomes way harder because you don't see the, the, the tracks, right? So I would prefer, or my preference is my signals on the outside and my ground and power on the inside. Uh, it's just a preference. You guys can read more about it. Um, so there are different layers for EMC and all that type. And with KiCad, you can also go more, right? You can go for 6, 8, 10, even to 32. Guys, this will get very expensive if you go this high. I think for us as hobbyists, as makers, 4 is more than enough for most cases. Uh, we'll see, maybe one day make a 6 or 8. Great, so now on the right hand side, you can see we've got two extra layers. Uh, our, sing our top is single layers, and our bottom is another single layer, and then we have ground and power. So let's say... We want to add a copper pore, we use this add full zone, and then we highlight like we want to. So take it from there, and then we can say ground, make it ground. And now you just make your nice square. So 
and there we go there's my ground plane you can already see it's already much fuller much yeah how can i say it it's just looks better right so we don't have copper tracks cuts and copper plane cuts now we do the same for the power what is going on my grid is wrong so grid 50 mils or not interesting VBAT okay it doesn't really matter how accurate you make this around the board uh, the board does have key parts on the edges so that means I can just pour the copper and the PCB will always make a small distance from the outside of the board to the copper pour because the manufacturer needs this gap um, so your copper pour can never be till the edge of the board so there we have our VBAT as well so if you go here you can see it's already connected pink pink so it lets me hide it just so that we have the previous boards so you can see VBAT here was connected to here here but because I've got all my signal traces they make cuts in the plane so my VBAT here is disconnected to my VBAT here which is not good so I had to go to the bottom and make a VBAT there but then this VBAT cuts my ground plane so that was just not good practice but as I said this was just a video to show you guys how KeyCAD works for PCB design for a drone so now we've got our other power ones so now we can actually go and just delete uh, the pause we had for the top delete um, where's my bottom delete so now you can see so we actually don't need this VBAT anymore so now we do what I would do is just delete all the tracks that you can see with VBAT now that I used previously so a through hole component will automatically be connected to the plane that it's supposed to so if I go to my V power you can see VBAT VBAT is already connected but SMDs does not work like that right so SMDs on the top so for instance this VBAT signal will need a wire to the to the plane of the power for the VBAT that I made the pink one um, just speak just to be clear is when you put a wire it still goes through all the layers so it still goes top to bottom but then you will only connect to the layer that you want so ground here you can see there my ground is connected and these ones you'll see there's a gap in between uh, yeah so here's a half one maybe move it a bit but that just means um, you'll still see some gaps in your copper but that this is much better than a full copper split should I say um, you can do blind and buried wires so it's wires that go straight just to the plane and stops I'll make a new video on that uh, it's a bit more complicated really not necessary uh, also very expensive so yes so what I would do now is I would just start deleting these things because uh, I don't want my voltages on the top only signal and then you can just stick a copper place a track make sure it's nice and thick because we're running some current through here so I'll just take this one then we can go V for v, 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 see up and down uh, place the wire <laughs> not that one uh, it doesn't want to place wire because there is a, a line here we can move this with D you push D can I push my wire now yes so now you can see we bet this wire is a bit small I will go through how to calculate the perfect sizes and things but to make a wire bigger push E for settings and there you can have the hole so let's make it two uh, one so there we go so that's a quite a massive wire you can see over there <laughs> it's just too big but anyway we'll go through that in another episode so you can see uh, that's how we will do it now so I'll just go through it delete all these feedbacks put wires but you can see that main goal was to make my ground plane nice and solid my power plane nice and solid so I will update this board I'll put it on github guys and then you can take the version 2 and then we can finish up this drone just another tip and trick um, KiCad does not always refill your copper pores uh, automatically so to do that you can just go edit fill all zones what I normally do is I just go inspect design rule checker so this allows me just to make sure that all my tracks are connected and there's no big errors but you can see here refill all zones before performing this this is called a design rule check so i just say run rdc and will automatically 
uh, make the gaps in between here so it will refill the pour. pour. Because sometimes when you make tracks, um, you, let's say that. Okay, there's no copper pores on top, so it doesn't really matter. But if I go like that, that's the thing, guys. If you guys have so so many layers and you put a wire, it's very, uh, you must make sure there's no uh, layers underneath your layer or a signal underneath your signal. Then, but it won't allow you to do it anyway. So now you can see I placed a reset, but this pore here, the ground, is still connected to my reset, and we don't want that. So we go design rule checker run DRC and now you can see it made it open on the side so it's very important after your design always do design rule checker biggest advice I can ever give you so guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, just a short tutorial how to make a four layer boarding keycad as you can see it looks a bit different now I did it earlier in this video uh, just a quick reminder so I prefer signals on the outside uh, ground and voltage on the inside just for debugging purposes and fixing purposes. So if you like this video, please just like, subscribe and all that fun stuff. Um, as I mentioned earlier, all these files are available for everyone. All you have to do is just join our Discord channel. That's where we chat about all our hobbies, our electronics. And just speak to, if we have any problems with the design we're working at home, we speak to each other and as a community we help. Uh, so please, the link is below. Just join the Discord and then say hello. Yeah, so say hello, introduce yourself, let us know what you're busy with, what you would like to help with. We have about a, over 100 engineers now on the Discord channel, or, or engineers, students, everyone actually. A bunch of makers. Uh, it's really fun. So come say hello. Guys, have a fantastic day further. Have a good weekend if you, when, or whenever you watch this video. Till next time.